What is good? Diamond Nine is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're gonna be reacting to today, man. I know I haven't posted in a couple days, man. I just been chilling, relaxing, taking a little break, you know, handling some things off the scene. But a lot of you guys wanted my reaction to this video. I don't know what to expect, so let's get into it. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend that today ain't your mama, today Uncle Joe. He's still a mother freaking hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So in a previous <clears throat> video, I spoke on Neek confirming that she will be on Basketball Wives mm. Orlando. Mm -hmm. And people were a little bit shocked to know that Dwayne's baby mama will also be on Basketball Why is she standing like this, y'all? I look like she fit a break. Basketball Wives Orlando. <laughs> but thing is, Neek and Dwayne's baby mama isn't the current storyline behind the beef apparently Mackenzie has a new man and his name is Rashad he also plays basketball boy looking a little rough his baby mama is also on the show now apparently Mackenzie and Danielle don't really see eye to eye they've been <clears throat> going back and forth for quite some time now. His baby mama, Danielle, even posted up a text thread between herself and Rashad and captioned it. Him and his girlfriend, favorite thing to do is call me ugly. He get with the mixed girl and now I'm ugly, y'all. Mm. So you guys already know how reality TV show- And neither one of them is ugly, so. Show go, they want some drama there. Mm -hmm. So apparently the drama is gonna be between Mackenzie and Danielle mm. and not Mackenzie and Neek. But let's move on to this next topic with Armand and Regine. On the recent episode of Toya and Regine, Regine did explain why the communication between her and Armand has been so difficult. He can't balance his time. If he got something coming up for that week, he goes missing. missing. He focuses on that. Like, no, like. Mm. So have he always been? Yeah, if you're in a relationship, that's a whole nother thing. If you just, you know, chopping it up with a woman or, you know, you just dating a woman. And, you know, y'all fucking around or whatever the case may be, right? That's totally different than being in a full-blown relationship with somebody. And I can honestly say for me, being in relationships too, sometimes, especially like if we're not in the same vicinity, if we're not in the same state, in the same place, like I went on vacay or she went on vacay or whatever the case is, right? I can honestly say that I'm not the best communicator either. Like I'm fine with going days without <clears throat> speaking to you. I don't have to speak to you all the time, you know? So I know a lot of women love attention and they want to know that you're thinking about them. Like, if you ain't talking to me, who you talking to? As a tourist, I like to have my own time too. You know, and that doesn't excuse anything. I'm not trying to say that he has a right to not communicate with her whenever he's out of town or handling business, because I do believe that, yes, you should. There's no reason why you shouldn't communicate, especially if that's your girl. So in her recent YouTube video, she did speak a little bit about having to relive all of these Armand moments. How did me looking at that conversation with me and Armand made me feel, just looking back at it since it was a couple months ago? Um, I feel like, you know, I don't regret nothing in life. I feel like everything happens for a reason and you learn from things. Um, me and our mom, you know, we, we had a good relationship, but you know, everything comes, some things come to an end. Mm -hmm. Previously, I spoke on- Hey, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. And I just love this scene right here. Ladies out here take notes. You know what I'm saying? Ladies out here take notes because this is a beautiful scene right here. But yeah, nothing lasts forever. And will they ever get back together? I don't know. But at this current moment in time, it does seem like they are done with each other. They are keeping it cordial, keeping it amicable across the board. They are not, you know, bashing each other, which is great. I think that Regine and Armand, to some degree, both... Be like, damn, why the fuck did we air our shit out like that? Why the fuck did we even put our business out like that? And I feel like a lot of couples who do break up feel that way after the breakup. But you don't see that shit when you're in the relationship. You don't see like, damn, maybe we shouldn't put this out or put that out or let people know about this or that. I support them both going on their, you know, their future journeys and all of that. Relationship, but you know, everything comes, some things come to an end. Previously, I spoke on Crystal, Jazz's ex, doing videos with one of Jazz's friends. Well, they finally brought up the topic if each of them were still friends with Jazz, and this was their response. Are you and Jazz friends? 
That question was for you. <laughs> no, that's for you. No, that question was for you. Um, no, we don't talk at all. No communication whatsoever. Mm, and that's crazy because when they were sitting down at that table with all their friends, mutual friends and shit, at least they could be cordial enough to sit in the same setting with, you know, people that they fuck with. Knowing what she's saying now, they don't talk at all. That's crazy. <clears throat> So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. It seemed like Nunu was a bit hesitant mm. to answer that question. I feel like people use the friend word so fucking loosely. Like everybody is not your fucking friend. Just because you know somebody or you hung out with them a few times or you know about them through a mutual friend or y'all be at the same gatherings does not mean that that nigga is your fucking friend. And the way that he hesitated does not seem like they are friends for real but hey you know maybe he was just trying to avoid any beef but he could have easily said i mean i wouldn't say that we're friends but you know we don't have no problem with each other you know we've chopped it up a couple times or we met up and said what's up a couple times so i don't know how much i would trust his response but hey who gives a fuck anyway right <laughs> so as always i want to know your opinions on everything down in the comment section below before we leave this video man i want to speak about Ray and Lindasia. Okay, so a lot of you guys were spamming me in my DMs to let me know that Lindasia had liked Ray's picture. So Ray dropped a picture, I guess, last night or yesterday at some point. And y'all were sending me the screenshot of Lindasia liking the post and also commenting on the post as well. As you guys can see, liked by Lindasia, and she did comment too. So as you guys can see, she leaves a comment underneath Ray's picture, all right? Say LOL, mm-hmm, with the hard eyes and all of that. And then she wrote something back. I ain't done my iPhone update, so I don't know what this question mark with the box is, guys, but I'm pretty sure it's something freaky dicky. You know what I'm saying? Maybe with the tongue out. I don't fucking know what she put on there. But I don't see the comment no more, so I don't know if Lindasia deleted the comment because people was underneath asking what's T, what's going on, and all of that shit. But let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you guys co-sign Ray and Lindasia getting back together? Or do you guys think that they're just keeping it cordial? This is not enough to say either way, right? But I do wish both of them the best. I wish Ray the best. I wish Landasia the best as they go on and do whatever the fuck they want to do and they love lives, right? They young. They gonna do what they do. If they fuck around, they gonna fuck around. If they get back together, they gonna get back together. If they don't, they don't. If they just stay friends, that's cool too. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I love you guys so freaking much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama and tell they uncle Joe. He's still a mother freaking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby. Thank you.